Thanks for joining us today. The day has finally come that we get to do the hard hat review, folks. And this is not the average hard hat. No, sir. This is the Wave Cell hard hat. Made in the USA. And it's going to be awesome. Uh, before we get at that, though, let me give a big shout out to Brianna and Ted down at 2PR Industrial and uh, Wave Cell for allowing me the opportunity to do this review. Um, it's a true honor to be able to do their first review of this uh, hard hat uh, that's going to revolutionize the hard hat industry, honestly. Um, but I'm honored to do the first review on YouTube about this. All right. Well, we got the hard hat. That's good. What else we got in here? We got, that's pretty cool. Uh... Little instruction set. I uh, got some stickers in there. Yeah, user instructions. And let's take a look here. Let's see what we got. All right. So now that's out of the package. Got some uh, some head straps. Probably won't use this very often, but uh, it's there if we want to, if I do want to use them. <clears throat> so that's the uh, the hard hat there. Front, back, and the side. And if you notice, this uh, this hard hat has a different kind of structure on the inside. It is um, this is a Type Two hard hat. Uh, it exceeds the um, Z89.1 standard that is most on most hard hats. I got a couple here to compare with. Um, so it exceeds that. Typically you don't get into class two hard hats or uh, class two head protection until you get to the helmets. Uh, that's kind of the, the, the construction helmets and things like that. They're starting to go with uh, these kind of materials, not necessarily wave cell, but uh, some other uh, like MIPS uh, material. Um, this is a little different, so let's uh, take a look again. We got some vents on the sides, and then the one on the back here. Of course, that wet bone on the back is it's pretty large. This center is not is not a vent. It uh, looks like there's a um, in the sticker set that I got. There is a there's a sticker that'll actually go there. But these are your vents all along the side, and. Uh, so it should be a, a cool hard hat to wear. Now these, uh, the one thing I, right away I noticed is the, the shape, how it's, see it's it's different. It's more, um, I guess, squared off in the back sort of. Like some hard hats are like almost completely round. This one's got a short brim up front, a little bit longer in the back. Uh, this is an old hard hat I have. See, it's pretty much, uh, you know, like uh, this is pretty typical of most hard hats, I guess. This is a non-vented, uh, just a, I think this is a 3M unit. Yeah, 3M unit. Uh, and so uh, it is a full brim, but it's a very short front brim. So that's good. I, you know, a really long brim is kind of annoying, but so it's got a really short brim. It's got a different kind of style to it. <clears throat> but what's different about these hard hats is this material of course right here this is this is where they get its name from the wave cell this is the wave cell material this material is a is actually what makes it a class two because it protects from falls or from uh impact on the uh on the top and the sides and then uh additionally it does rotational uh like a rotational protection because this material is, it has like almost like crush zones so it's gonna it's gonna crush and then move with your with your with your head so your it protects your your skull better and so <clears throat> as with most hard hats you have a suspension system this one here got a four point suspension system uh, just basically straps and a big large uh, area 
up top between this and the top of the helmet. So it protects you in a way that impact hits you on the top of the, the helmet. These are eventually going to fall in and break and cave away. And, but if your head ever hits the top, there's no protection whatsoever. So uh, that's what makes, that's what's different about it. This is a, it's class one because it doesn't have the sides protection or a rotational uh, protection like this way cell does. And uh, visually, I love it. It looks cool. I, I like the low profile of it uh, as compared to this guy. So they're totally different. So a lot, there's more round. This is not so round. Um, so visually, it looks great. I love this, love the, love the looks of it. Love the color. Um, and the, uh, the one thing I thought would might be a little bit different is, um, this material, I thought this material would be like, almost like a super soft material that like, uh, almost like, uh, like the purple mattress or something like that. I figured it'd be something like that, but it's actually not, it's a, it's wavy, you know, it's a, like a wavy structure and it's designed to collapse and then like crumple zones. Uh, so the suspension system is totally different in it. The your suspension is actually this. So these, technically, I would say it's got a four-point suspension. One, two, three, four. Um, but it's not. There's no air gap here between this, between the green wave cell material, and this top padding. So there's no there's no air gap in here. The the this the this material right here though, the wave cell is uh, is very um, I don't know to say it's porous, but uh, it allows a lot more airflow through it. Even though it's even though your head is actually going to be sitting on this pad and this is going to be above that, this is touching this. There's more airflow. Uh, according to you can read it up on the website and stuff, but there's more airflow that's going to blow that's going to go through this than uh, something like this, even a vintage unit. Like I have one of these that are vented uh, right now at work, but to say it's vented, yeah, that's a, that's a joke. It, it may, it may release some steam coming off my head in the summertime, but that's, that's about the extent of it. Uh, it's, it's, I don't really feel like it's vented per se. Um, but anyways, let's, uh, Let's compare these two. And I got another one here to compare as well. Um, I like the like the square sides on this one here. That's uh that's 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 pretty cool. This one has got more of a rounded side that's pretty standard. Um, this one's made at HDPE. This one is made uh, at ABS. ABS is typically lighter than uh, than HDPE. Uh, but I got a little scale here, so we'll we'll test that theory out. Let's see here. So let me get this one zeroed out. Let's see, zeroed. Let's see what we got. Let me have. Oh, how do I turn it on? There we go. So let's see. This is okay. Let's start with this one. Put it right on the scale here. Okay, this one is measuring out at 14.99 ounces. So let's call it 15 ounces with a, with a, I guess this is an after, this, uh, actually this is an aftermarket sweatband. The original band is just a really thin, uncomfortable nothing it's terribly uncomfortable so let's say this guy here let's zero this out again well hold on a second i may not have been zeroed let's see that again okay so it's 15.06 15.06 ounces for that made in taiwan htpe standard hard hat
Oh, we gotta zero that out again. One pound, one ounce. Let me make sure I got that right. So 15.03 ounces. Okay, so basically this is two ounces heavier than this guy. Not two ounces, that ain't that ain't really nothing. Uh, that may be because of the material. I mean, they're actually out, the the thickness of the material is about the same, um, so that wouldn't account for it. It's it's probably this the two ounces may, maybe this waste cell material, but it adds that extra protection, ten times better protection than something like that. Um, so yep, right at one pound. Yeah, one pound one pound one ounce is exact. Um, so let's measure this one here. This one is a Condor, uh, not, it's not HDPE, it's a, just some other kind of plastic. It actually doesn't even say what kind of uh, plastic this is, but uh, it's very basic. And this is one of my older ones. It does not have a ratchet strap back here, but it's, it's, it's actually fairly comfortable, but it, uh, it, it's, I was just not invented. It gets super hot. Um, I added this extra strap here. Uh, I know I've, I've used this for a little while. Um, you know, I don't use it much. It doesn't have the doesn't have the ratchet there, so this is like a really cheap base model. Also made uh, form, and the the plastic of the suspension is actually really really. It's not good at all. I, in fact. I think if you had a hard impact to your head here, the, the actual webbing material may break before the plastic does, but the plastic is still very, very thin. It's not, it's not sturdy at all, but it is lightweight. So let's see what this weighs. Okay, so this weighs right at 12 ounces. So lighter than this one, Lighter than this one, but ugly, hot, and made somewhere else. I'll take the USA made one any day. I don't know about you. So let's see about um, what it looks like. I know this one, because it's got a lower profile dome than these guys, it don't need that huge space up above your head for uh, for cooling because you're actually sitting right on the wave cell material. Uh, so let's try this on. The ratchet strap is real nice. So, all right. Let's move this up here. So side profile. It's very very comfortable even though it's a little it's a like an ounce heavier than this guy it doesn't feel it I can't feel it and it's got a much uh, lower profile which I, I like a lot like the color of it it's got accessory rails on the side these uh these are, they have the standard accessory slots right here. So a lot of things will fit in there. Um, but it's also got these proprietary rails right here. I guess they're proprietary. The wave cell only comes with these helmets. It's for additional uh, accessories like, you know, uh, shields. If you need that for your particular job. Obviously this is not electrical rated because it does have the vents. Um, However, they do make a non-vented model, so it's the exact same one without the vents. Um, but uh, I do not need it for my my job, so I, I wanted the vented one. And right away, you stick this thing on, it's good, it's secure, it's not going to fall off. It fits low to the low to the head. Love the color. 
and uh, it's very comfortable. Yeah, I like this one a lot. This is uh, this is nice. This is made in America right here. This is uh, this is made in uh, Wilsonville, Oregon. So by Americans, this is a good quality product. I love it. Uh, and it's totally different. I think this is going to revolutionize the way hard hats are thought of um, because of just the additional protection that this offers. This is, again, this is a class two helmet. This is a class one helmet. Class two is, provides much better protection and exceeds all the U.S. Um, OSHA and ANSI ratings. I think Z89.1 far exceeds that. Um, and also the European standards as well. So nice hard hat, great job, Waysell. Love this thing. Looking forward to wearing it. I also got a sticker kit, and I'll uh, once I get the stickers on there, I'll show you how that was. I got the orange. Actually, in a previous video, I showed those really high quality um, orange set. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, but I'm definitely gonna use uh, the ones that come along the edges and the and the one that comes on here i don't know if i'll use the one on top but i'll use these ones here anyways um and then of course the little sticker that goes right there in the middle so cool hat love this thing appreciate you wave so uh, can't wait to wear this on the job site i appreciate you joining me for this uh for this video and uh again i'll leave the link to wave cell and tpr industrial which is the authorized reseller of this hard hat uh, here in the United States, and um, it'll be in the in the comment section of this video. Appreciate y'all joining me. Hope y'all have a great day. Okay, so now with a lot of work to get this uh, chin strap off, uh, these things are tight. Once they they clip into these little slots on the on the bottom of the hard hat, and uh, they are. They are secure. They are not meant to come out very easily. That's for sure. I had to use a uh, screwdriver to push on the little tabs like really hard and pull at the same time to get them loose. So yeah, they uh, they are made to made to last. Made to stay in there if if, if you need to use those. Uh, I went ahead and put my sticker on here. These uh, started started on all these, and they do come with stickers that go along the side here. Um, Kind of like on uh, this diagram. So they, uh, these little ones right there. I uh, don't know that I'll put those on there, but uh, I started on that. That's what it kind of looks like. I chose the orange, it comes in red, and uh, some other colors as well. Uh, or white, I think. And anyways, but yeah, good, uh, good quality sticker. Uh, like the way it looks. Got my little, uh, my little. American flag symbol there because it's made in the USA and the one thing I failed to mention in uh, earlier when we were talking about the suspension system is the adjustment for this suspension the front is um, is not adjustable it is secured with uh, a plastic a plastic piece to like this outer this outer part of the, or the inner part of this plastic frame uh but the back is adjustable for height so you can adjust it up and down on your head and <clears throat> it's real simple you got on the inside you see right there where that shiny screw is all you do very simple you just press down it goes in that's as much as it goes in it on the other side, same way. Just press in. And so now that's the profile. And so if I pull it out, you got at least another inch and a half extension where it would sit on your head. So let's take a look at it at the full extent. That's the full extent of it in the raised in the raised up in the back. And let's go 
all the way in with it. So, all the way in with it, that's what it looks like. I actually think my head's a little bit too big to go all the way in. So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. Oh yeah. Now that fits that fits perfect right where it's gonna be right there. So mine's about that setting right there is probably about uh halfway, half out of its travel. So it can actually go out again, it can go out a whole lot more if you want it to. So this is the maximum extent that actually gives you quite a bit of a uh, headroom in the back side too if you go the full extent so that's a personal preference i guess that's about halfway it feels like it's about the same as it was so that's probably where i'll keep it right there but uh pretty pretty neat it's a great great quality hard hat i love this thing Go check them out, TPR Industrial, Wave Sale, Hardhat.com.